I know I'm invited to your Bible study. I get the emails too. I know that would be your dream for me to join you in the Bible study. Your dream would be for me to be captive in a room with you with donuts and coffee so you can tell me what your, you know, prosperity gospel, whatever interpretation of the Bible is that makes you think that it's right to be wealthy, that makes you think that billionaires are ethical people, that makes you think that you can drive around with a choose life license plate, but you don't do anything to actually support children who are in need in our state. Your party is your religion because nothing you're reading in that Bible study is coming through in your actions on this floor, through the legislation you bring. You're not studying the teachings of Jesus Christ. So you can be more like Jesus Christ in the votes that you cast. That we know for sure. Um, Senator Merman, you know, defending the prayer that he did this morning that was um, completely denominational. You know, I was amused that his defense of it was, well, these are the words of George Washington. So if you don't like George Washington, then I don't know what to tell you. Maybe you're in the wrong place, this and that. You know what? I don't like George Washington. When he died, he had 153 slaves. And there's a, um, a myth that he freed his slaves when he died. He freed one slave who was a Revolutionary War um, celebrity, basically. He kind of had to free him because he became very famous during the Revolutionary War, this slave. And the other 152 slaves he gave to his wife, Martha. Martha kept the slaves until she died, and they passed them down to their children. So he did not free his slaves. He owned humans. And I don't admire George Washington. I think that um, just because someone is a founding father or something, we don't need to venerate them necessarily. We don't need to revere their words, and we don't need to repeat their words in the form of an invocation before we convene every day.